Greetings! Today I will present one of the Rakin system's new features. NDI Today I will show one of the Rakin system's new features on the example of 3D production module. It will be NDI that is Network Device Interface. It is a standard that enables network communication by sending and receiving high-quality and low-delay audio and video signal. Such a foundation makes reliable operation in a live production environment possible. The Rakim system allows you to broadcast a stream from program channel to the network. To do this, we have to go to the settings, pressing a gear button located next to stream button. In the general tab, we can set parameters for streaming to a server supporting RMTP protocol, for example, to the Facebook. This makes it possible to watch program output all over the world via a browser. When we press NDI tab, we will be able to broadcast a video signal, but this time across LAN. It connects computers in a specific area, for example, a school or an office that is computers connected within the local structure. We enter the stream's unique name, Studio News, for example, in a box below. We press OK to accept. In the moment we press Stream button, a transmission of audio and video streams will begin. We stop streaming by pressing the button again. Now I will show you on an example how to receive a particular NDI signal. We go to Menu Options and Configuration. In the last position we can see NDI tab. Due to the system's specific nature of operation and capacity, I suggest using a maximum of two full HD streams it as 1080p60. If we want to use also other inputs as NDI, we should broadcast a stream with a reduced resolution 720p, for example. To receive the NDI stream, we have to select one of the inputs. It is possible to replace a physical camera input or a stream of video files from the tray. I will choose Camera 4 input. I press NDI button. On the right, a button with three dots appears. After pressing it, a window shows us in which we can choose NDI stream. On the list we can find a description that contains a computer's name. And further, in brackets, a name entered in the streaming window and the computer's IP address. Below we can see a stream key selection function. If we leave this option checked, it will not be possible to set a keying algorithm when we go to Key for tab. NDI graphics will then appear. This means a keys mask is provided by the NDI stream. I will go back to the NDI settings in the configuration window. I uncheck stream key option for the given input. Now the input can be subjected to a keying procedure in the Rekin system. We can use in the same way Chroma or Luma key algorithm as if it was an input connected to the Rekin card via HDMI or SDI. To distinguish whether a given input originates from the Rekin card or from the NDI stream, there is an NDI caption on the input bar. Next to the caption, the input's video format appears. 
NDI input supports two stereo channels left and right. In the mixer's audio input tab, all functions such as mute, solo or volume level slider work in the same way as in the case of a physical HDMI or SDI input. We can send any content between two Rekin systems. Using PGM buttons of the main mixer a user on the second computer can send. A full screen view from a camera connected to the system. Any video file. Graphic file as well as Studios view. With VC1 to VC4 buttons, we will control a view of our studio loaded into the system, setting the appropriate camera shots. Whereas a signal from another machine containing a view of another studio will be sent to CAM4 button with the use of NDI. This provides an opportunity to build a structure of a large format TV station. Thank you. Wrecking. Keen on record.